Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial. In this video I'm going to show you 10 different keywords that you can use to find the elements that I'm showing you on the screen right now. And in this video instead of just giving you the 10 keywords to find these elements I'm also going to give you 10 different templates. So I'm going to leave you guys the links in the description of this video so you can start designing straight away with these elements. And are you guys ready to discover these keywords? Let's go to my computer. Okay, so here we are on my computer and I just wanted to let you guys know that anyone with a free account and a pro account can follow this tutorial because these elements are free. So let's start. Okay, and the first set of elements that I'm going to show you today are illustrations. So this is the first keyword. And here I would like you to pay close attention because some of the letters are capital letters. So just pay attention because if you don't type it, in the right way you may not be able to find the elements so let's go to elements and you are going to type the special keyword here and go so these are the cute elements that i selected for the first slide i really really like them i think they are really colorful and they have like this psychedelic or retro kind of style and as i told you i try to get an idea on how to use these elements so here i created a quote and i used a couple of flowers like dancing together because i think this can uh, relate to the quote that i selected for this design so you will find this on the description of this video so here we have our second keyword as i already mentioned be careful with the capital letters and let's go here to elements and paste this new keyword and this one as you can see here they are bright isometric farmers market elements and this is the design that i created with them they are very geometrical you know like they have like really straight lines geometrical shapes and very bright colors and i was thinking that maybe these uh, elements could be used in a banner you know like if you are creating a banner for a farmer's market of course you can do something like this you can have a bold big uh, title and then the like the description the address or you know like the date of the farmer's market yeah so this is the design that i created out of these elements i really liked and enjoyed the different color palettes that they have and they used for these elements okay so let's go to the next element here we have it let's go okay so i'm going to paste this one here and yeah this is a very special and cute uh, bunch of elements these are only balloons and i was thinking about like maybe we can create some happy birthday um, designs or something like this in which we thank our followers like thank you 10k or thank you 30k 100k you know like the amount of followers that you uh, reached so this is the design that we got here with these kind of elements let's go and discover the next one this one i think it's very trendy let's go type it and these are a bunch of flowers i don't know if you can really see them here let me add them on this uh, design here these are very colorful and i would say like handmade flowers you can see them here i think they are really cute and actually i think they are also easy to use i'm going to show you the design that i created with it and in this design as you can see i used the element in the background i changed all the different colors for the same light beige as you can see all these flowers have a lot of colors but i wanted to have a more stylish or minimalist style because this is also very trendy and i also reduced 
the transparency so we can read the text better. And here we have our design. Okay, let's go to the next keyword and okay, let me copy and paste it here. So yeah, this is a really cool bunch of uh, sticker illustrations. They are not too many, but I think we can create really cool designs with these. I've seen that there is a design trend going on right now and they use a lot of these stickers. It's kind of like a retro uh, kind of style. So for this design, I decided to go for this retro kind of font. It is a free font and yeah, this design is also very minimalistic, I would say, because we only have one little element and uh, just two words, but I think this is efficient and it's really cute. Okay, so now I'm going to show you a keyword to find some really trendy, I would say, um, patterns. Let's uh, use this keyword, collection, paste it, and here we have. So the element that I selected for this special design or template that I'm going to give you in the description of this video, it is this one that you see here. But we also have another kind of uh, patterns or lines that we see here and we can use them in the same way as I'm using it in my design. You see here, I stretched the element so we can cover the background and you can play with the transparency or you can play, of course, with the colors of the elements. And yeah, they have not so many different options, but I would say they have enough cool options from the ones that you can choose from. You see here, you can also play with this option that you see here, magic recommendations, because you can find more similar backgrounds or patterns that uh, you may like. Okay, so as I show you here, this is the design that um, I created with these backgrounds or these patterns. And now let's go to a different kind of elements and these are frames. These are so, so trendy, so easy to use and so cool. So really excited to show you guys these ones. So let's use this keyword. And here we have, this is a new batch of really really amazing uh, frames and as you can see here this is a very uh, simple design but I think the frame it's making uh, all the effort in this design because we have our photo cropped in an arc uh, shape but we have a bunch of different frames here that we can use to make our designs really pop so I really encourage you to go and check these frames out. Okay, the next one is one <laughs> that I really, really like personally. And it is this one. So you can see here, these are some gradients with some transparency that you can put on top of your designs. You can uh, also have uh, here some frames and you can insert your photos on these frames. You can see here my example. It's very minimal, but I think these uh, elements bring some color and some cool aesthetic to the design. And as you can see here, let me go and grab a photo. You can just drag any photo you like on this design and you will have something very unique. So yeah, I really like that. Okay, let's go to the next keyword. And for this example, we are not going to use the brand code. We are just going to paste this. And here we have our group of elements and frames. So this one is really cool. I find it really cool because before it was really difficult to get this aesthetic or these looks on Canva and now it's super super easy and simple to get this uh, 
I will say like textures on top of photos and you see here like photographic uh, leak on top of your photos and this is the design that I created with them so I didn't use frames but I actually used these elements on top of my photos you see here and uh, for my photo I used a filter the street filter so I don't know I think uh, these uh, black and white or grayscale uh, photos uh, look great with these elements so the same one here and I'm going to show you a trick that I used because let me show you uh, for this photo I used this element that you see here it is the same one we see here and what I did is to crop the element like this and then I rotated the element this way because my photo was uh, it is <laughs> vertical so I guess that just rotating the frame uh, was going to make this design look better and I did the exact same process for this element right here I used, uh, let me see, this one I guess and I just cropped the laterals like this and I just positioned the element on top of my photo like this Okay, and now let's go to the last keyword of the day and it is this one, organic frame. It is a very simple one, but really cool elements. You see here, it's just a couple of uh, different frames, but you can create cool elements like this one. And these ones, uh, I don't know if you remember, but I found them with this keyword. You can find those lines with that keyword and then you can just uh, bring these frames on your designs let me show you really quick and then drag photos any photo your photos or canvas photos any photo to these frames and have really cool looking designs okay guys so i really really hope that you enjoyed this video I took a lot of time creating the templates and also trying to find the perfect set of elements that I wanted to share with you guys in this video. Please let me know in the comments if you enjoyed. Also, I would like to propose another tutorial for you guys. And this one will be a similar format as this one, but instead of showing you uh, hidden elements, I would like to show you hidden templates really cool templates that I found on Canva and I would like to share with you guys. Let me know if you are interested in that kind of tutorials. And as always, I'm going to recommend you guys some tutorials right here that I think you are going to like. And also if you have a Canva free account and would like to try uh, the pro version of Canva for free for 45 days, I'm going to leave you guys a link right here in which you can enjoy 45 days of Canva Pro for free. This is 15 days more than what you will find on Canva because I have this Canva Certified Creative link. So that's it for today and I hope to see you in the next tutorial. Bye!